this is beautiful. I mean, they're all beautiful. This. Yeah, this is the one, definitely. It's classy, it's understated. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I really, really appreciate everything you've done. Well, hey, it's New Year's Eve. It's casino night at the Towers. We're gonna look great. We're gonna have a great time. And maybe we'll even bring each other a little luck at the tables. That's what got me into trouble in the first place, Mindy. Oh, right. I'm sorry, I forgot. You know, I really should apologize for getting you involved in all this. It's okay. Really. I feel a lot better now that you told Josh the truth about those men that were after you. He's gonna help get out of this mess, you know. Now, come on, you. Buck up. You should feel good now that everything's out in the open. Are you sure you can get it? No problem. The club is getting rid of it anyway. Are you sure you can come up with the rest of the money? Yeah, yeah. I've been saving my allowance my whole life. I'll meet you on the 17th tee in an hour. Okay. Rich kids. So how bad a trouble is, uh, is Tangy in? Well, it's not, it's not any real big deal. It's just, uh... Listen, do me a favor, will you? Tonight at the party. If you see anybody looking at her kind of funny, just let me know, will you? <laughs> sure, sure. Except me. Clear out. Let me see how handsome you look. Oh, oh you do. Get these suspenders straight, That's okay? Good. Look, you know, uh, Jean Sutcliffe's daughter is back from Princeton for the holidays. You remember Gail? <laughs> yeah. Actually, I'm taking someone. To the party tonight? Yeah. Oh, how great. Hello. Oh. <laughs> Who are you taking? Bridget. Oh, here you guys are. I just wanted to wish you a Happy New Year. Thank you. Well, I was hoping you could come and play backgammon with Daddy tonight. Oh, I would love to. That sounds terrific, but I get plans, so. Well, I'll go get out the backgammon board and make some hot chocolate. Okay. Happy New Year. Yeah, you too, Dolphins. So come on, come on, take off the hat. Let me see. No. Come I on. Can't. No, let me fix it up first. <laughs> you going to a party? Yeah, I'm just going to go to the towers with Dylan Lewis. Oh, very glamorous. Well, what about you? You got, you got plans for the eat tonight? How are you doing? You feeling any better? Oh, that's a stupid question. You're getting worse by the minute. I can't sit here doing nothing. I can't watch you just going from bad to worse. You've got a bullet in you, for heaven's sake. There's no one I can trust, Holly. Only you. Well, there's someone I can trust, and he happens to be the best doctor I know. I'm calling Ed Bauer. Dr. Guthrie and I don't... We don't really have any plans. I'm just going to hang out with Michelle. Oh, well, if you want, I can come home early, and then you guys can slip out if you want. No, it's, that's fine. I, I couldn't ask you to do that. That's... Well, I don't mind. I mean, I'd like for you to have a special evening. To tell you the truth, I think, that, uh, I think Dr. Guthrie could use some rest, so just... Well, tomorrow's a holiday. She can sleep in. I'm not talking about sleep, Bridget. Just... Wait, what are you telling me? Do you think she needs a tune-up or something? Yeah, Bridget. That's what it sounds like to me. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't mean anything by that. I, just, I think I'm gonna go get dressed. <laughs> just came from Cedars. Thought maybe I'd work my way through the holiday. And you can imagine my surprise when I walk in and I find out that the locks on my lab have been changed. Yeah, I've decided to temporarily suspend your research project. Mm -hmm. Did you think about calling me or warning me? I didn't think that you would go to the hospital. I mean, I wanted to wait until after New Year's. I, I, I don't want to spoil your holiday. My holiday. That's what you were worried about. My holiday. You're about to bury my career. I just thought that maybe if I gave you some time before I told you that... What happened? Did Holly come over and, and, and tell you a horror story about me terrorizing her again? I think Holly's been pretty reasonable, actually, given the circumstances. <laughs> I think you both have been terrific. Boy, you didn't bring up official charges against me. 
You must be so happy with yourselves. Now you can convict me privately, behind my back, with whispers and innuendo uh, and whatever Holly, else. Holly, nobody, nobody wants to turn this into something unpleasant. <laughs> well, maybe you are too much of a coward to face me in public. But let me tell you, a little more unpleasantness, it isn't going to bother me. You are wrong about me, Ed. And I will fight you till the end on this. So I hope you don't mind a little bad publicity from Cedars. Ed Bauer would give me up in a heartbeat. We've been all through this. Oh, Roger, this is crazy. You've done nothing wrong. You've got nothing to be afraid of. Nothing. Somebody tried to kill me. I don't know who, but when they find out I'm still alive, they'll try again, and there's nothing I can do about it no, in this he, condition. He's got to respect doctor-patient privilege, even with you. No, no, the only confidentiality he's bound to <coughs> has to do with my condition. He is a by-the-book guy. I know the way his mind works. You can't keep this a secret. <coughs> oh, come on, Holly. Where's your holiday spirit? Why don't you let Ed enjoy the idea of me being dead as long as he can? I don't understand you. You can barely make it to the bathroom. You're gonna go sneaking down alleyways and peek in the windows and find out who did this to you? This is insane. If this infection goes on another day, you might not be going anywhere. You'd rather die? Oh, come on. You know me well enough to know that I'm a survivor. You'd rather die than let Ed Bauer help you? Is that what this is about? You can't stand the thought that he would, you would be in his debt. It's about your stupid pride. You're afraid the scales are gonna be tipped in the other direction. Is that it? It's my life my decision. Well, how dare you turn this into a stupid juvenile contest? How dare you be so, so selfish when there are people who need you and who love you? I do. Mom? Are you saying the woman's got a legal problem? No, no, I just, I think she might have to go down to the police station and make a statement this one. Well, then, I would uh, guess that Tangie's private business isn't really any of my business. Don't you? Go on. Go get your sweetheart. I'm going. You're not too psyched about me taking Bridget tonight, are you? Well, I don't dislike Bridget. It's just that, uh... Well, we had those complications, you know, while we were trying to adopt Peter. Come here. But the truth is that I was very upset to realize that you knew who Peter's father was. Well, I didn't tell you because Bridget's my friend, and I felt that she should tell you. And that's what I told her. She's never admitted it, although I know it's true. You told Billy, have you? Well, how am I going to tell Billy that his precious boy is Roger Thorpe's grandson? 